Let me show you how to duplicate objects and keep history on the duplicated meshes. So if you ever need to go back and maybe tweak some properties that you've done to an object, you'll be able to do so. So let me show you quickly what that means. So I'm going to create a cube and inside the channel box, you'll have your inputs tab right here. And this is where all your history will be built off of an object. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on this poly cube one and I'm going to change its size. So let's say I'm going to make this cube larger. So if I duplicate this object and use the standard shortcut key control D and then move it over, this new object has lost its inputs. And if I had any history, the history would also be lost. So I cannot go back and edit, make it larger or even include segments. And if I had a history, I wouldn't be able to tweak some properties if I wanted to. So let me go ahead and delete this cube. I'm going to show you how to keep that input graph available to you for any duplicated object. Go to edit, duplicate special and go to options. And in here you want to enable duplicate input graph and then duplicate special. Let me select the object first and then I'm going to duplicate special. So I went ahead and duplicated this object and I still have my history built up and inputs for the initial object creation. So I can go back in here and I can, I can go ahead and maybe change the size, maybe increase the amount of subdivisions. And my original object also has my inputs in here. So I can also update and change this. Now let me go ahead and maybe apply some model into this. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the top edges and I'm going to bevel them. Let's do a bevel, maybe with uh, two segments, smaller fraction. So let's say I want to duplicate this object, but I want to keep my history because I have my poly bevel right here and I still have my poly cube inputs for the original mesh. So I have some history built up. Now, if I want to go ahead and keep this and maybe added my bevel later on to the duplicated mesh, I already enabled duplicate input graph. So all I need to do is use the shortcut key. Instead of using control D, duplicate special, control shift D. So now if I press control shift D and move this object, this cube, I have my history built up and maybe let's say I want to come back and for this cube, I want to change my fraction to 0.1, maybe give myself more segments. I'll be able to do so. And if you want to bring back the little menu that pops up for many of the modeling tools, just hit T for transform and this menu will pop up and you can edit it through the options for whatever modeling tool you use last on your mesh.